in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let me bless your day with this reflection for 28th Sunday in the ordinary time. Today's gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of Saint Matthew chapter 22 verses 15 to 21. Present world, we come across powerful opposition for every good work. People opposed Jesus not because he did anything wrong. Majority of the Jewish group were afraid of growing popularity of Jesus and they wanted to stop Jesus from his preaching. If possible make him an enemy of Romans so that the cruel Romans will make an end to the life of Jesus. Today's gospel reading brings to light two important things about Jesus. As people said, you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status. This words addressed to Jesus shows how they wanted to strike Jesus by speaking against Roman authorities. The question asked to Jesus is, is it against the law? to pay taxes to Caesar or not they asked an yes or no question to Jesus if Jesus said yes they would consider Jesus as friend of Romans if the answer is no Romans will be against Jesus the response of Jesus is very important Jesus did not give an answer rather asked for a coin which was used for paying taxes when they brought a coin to Jesus he asked whose image is printed on the coin the said it is of caesar jesus responded give to caesar what belongs to caesar and give to god what is god's jesus gives an answer so that each one can select what will suit him or her the best We live in a world where people of God is trapped every day in their words and attitudes. Sometimes the opinions of others are negative and wrong. We can all experience peer pressure in various ways. Jesus never gave in to the false opinions of others, nor did he allow the pressure of those opinions to change how he acted. The people pointed out the virtue in Jesus. He never allowed the status of another to influence him. This is virtue because we must know we all are equals in the mind of God. A position of power or influence does not necessarily make one person more correct than another. What is important is the sincerity, integrity and truthfulness of each person. Let us reflect today upon whether these words could also be said about us. Keep Jesus away from your spiritual life. We need to make clear distinction between what belongs to God and what belongs to Caesar. It means we cannot bring in the matters of Caesar to that of God. We cannot serve God and world equally. We must opt what which is good and that which can give us lasting joy i pray on this sunday morning may good lord set your ways guide and inspire you protect you from all kinds of dangers of life and i pray may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen